Welcome back to Angie's Table. So today we're gonna be making a healthy alternative to rice or pasta. So I've been trying to ease carbs and rice out of my diet. I'll just try to reduce it. So I've been really getting into cauliflower rice and I know it's really hard to just substitute rice for cauliflower and it doesn't even really taste good. So I've been trying to add it into my pasta so I made a cauliflower risotto and I topped it off with some chicken meatballs and it was so good. I mean the herb from the sage, it's just Perfect, and I can't wait to share it with you guys, so let's go and check out these ingredients. Just gonna be doing some prep work, like chop up and mince up my herbs and grate some cheese and the garlic. So I decided to make this recipe a couple weeks ago, and after I tasted it, I was like, oh my gosh, this has to go on because it was so good. Like seriously, so good. And I don't know exactly the calorie count, but let's say in like a bowl of rice, if we're gonna be making risotto, 200 to 300 calories, but this cauliflower is 20 calories. Just by substituting the rice for cauliflower, it's like huge. So prepare one pound of brown chicken, and to it, let's add a half cup of breadcrumbs, a fourth cup of water, four garlic cloves minced, a fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, a fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a fourth teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of parsley, and my favorite part, one tablespoon of sage, and now we're gonna mix this. So I will be using gloves to give this all a mix and to round it into meatball shapes. I feel a little iffy touching poultry or just any type of meat and accidentally touching anything else in the kitchen. I just get a little like creeped out by it. But if you guys are gonna be using your bare hands, make sure to thoroughly wash your hands. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> like I, sm do you smell the sage? Mm -hmm. Wow. And I think it's a lot of the cheese in the cart like too, but. Yeah. It smells like you're already cooking. Oh, it smells so good. Seriously, this is so great. Like, I can't even explain to you how this is so good. Like, you just have to try it. I can't wait. Now we're gonna mold these into little meatball shapes. You can make it however big or however small you want. I like mine just like a little on the bigger side. Last one. So I made 12 total. So now we'll sprinkle a lot of olive oil on top of this. Okay. So these are done and we're gonna put it into the oven at 450 on bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. Just keep an eye out because every oven is different. You don't want to overcook it because then it becomes dry. Oops. So who knows what it's time for. Today's word of the day is tuck, which means chicken. And I want to share this with you guys because obviously our main protein of the day is chicken. And the spelling of this, it's, it's really odd because if I show you guys how it's literally spelled out, not how it's pronounced, but how it's spelled out in Korean, it's D-A-L-K. It's like dalk, but you just pronounce it tuck without the L. So it's silent. It's kind of like tsunami where the T is kind of silent and it's kind of not really there. It's just so weird. But today's order of the day is chicken, which means tuck. So now we are moving on to the risotto part, which is my favorite part. And we're gonna start off by adding a tablespoon of butter and cooking the sage. We're gonna take it out in order to use it as decoration later. So I'll have that at a medium heat. The aroma of the sage in the butter filling the cauliflower rice is so good. Ooh, that smells so good. It's seriously so good. And I'm gonna take it out. Okay, now we'll add in our heavy whipping cream. and add water. We'll let that cook and simmer a bit. We'll add in a half teaspoon of salt and more to taste if you guys need it. 
freshly cracked black pepper to taste. Do a lot, I like a lot of black pepper. Now let's add in two cups of cauliflower rice. And let's let that cook for about five minutes on medium heat. Add in our cheese. And as much spinach as you want. Whoa, I'm spilling everywhere. I love spinach, so I'm adding literally like two to three handfuls of it. Are you excited? Yeah. It smells so good throughout the whole cooking process. Wow. Mm. Wow, you're getting better at this focusing <laughs> thing. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't it taste like restaurant quality? It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the meatballs are so good. Also, mm. the cauliflower rice doesn't bother you, right? It just tastes like vegetable. Mm. But I mean, it's not like I want. No, no, no. The flavor or... is really good, though. Like I'm a big texture person. So uh huh. Cauliflower rice throws me off, but the it's, flavor it's is actually pretty so good. good that I, it doesn't bother me. It's literally one of the most flavorful dishes I've had in a while. And I love that crust on the meatballs. It's like a made in fried chicken. I can't. Grace and my mom love chicken. Mm -hmm. They love fried chicken. Yeah. I think we should make this for Kevin. I think he would like it. The chicken meatballs are so good. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I'm having chicken meatballs that I actually like. It's so moist mm -hmm. and crunchy, but like soft in the inside. And I think it works so well with this risotto. It's a very satisfying meal for sure. Mm -hmm. You really get that uh, sage flavor, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why this is so good is because of all the the sage and the parsley mm -hmm. you use. Mm -hmm. It's really flavorful. Mm -hmm. So, we really hope you guys try it out. It's not like the most healthiest meal ever, but I think it's a very good start to a healthier lifestyle. If you're used to eating just cream pasta, you know, just switch it out and make risotto with cauliflower rice. I mean, I feel like that's like a huge change already right there. It feels fancy. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys on our next video.